Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover how to create an Azure Service Principle and register it with Octopus Deploy. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of where to create service principles in Azure, what is needed to register a service principle with Octopus Deploy, and finally, recommendations on how to best leverage service principles with Octopus Deploy. Let's get started. This demo will create an Azure Service Principle via the Azure portal and register that with Octopus Deploy. To start, click on the Infrastructure link in the top menu. Then click on Accounts in the left menu. Click on Add Account in the top right corner, then select Azure Subscription. Give the Azure Subscription a name, then scroll down a bit. This demo will create a Service Principle. While Octopus Deploy supports management certificates, Azure has been slowly deprecating them. They only remain for legacy purposes. Azure requires three IDs and a password key to authenticate as a service principal. The first ID is the subscription ID, which is the ID of the subscription you'll assign resources to. Examples of resources include Azure Web Apps, VMs, resource groups, virtual networks, and more. The second ID is the tenant ID. This is the ID associated to the Azure Active Directory. Both the subscription ID and tenant ID should already exist. The third ID is the application ID. This is the ID of the app registration this demo will create. Finally, we have the password key. After creating the app registration, this demo will generate a new password. This demo is going to swap between Octopus Deploy and the Azure portal. The ID's passwords are on different screens within that portal. They will be copy pasted back into Octopus Deploy as soon as they appear in the portal. Let's jump over to the Azure Active Directory section in the Azure portal. The overview page will give you some basic information about your Active Directory configuration, specifically the tenant ID and the primary domain. That is the tenant ID that we want to copy into Octopus Deploy. Clicking the Copy button will copy that to the clipboard. Let's jump back to Octopus Deploy and paste that tenant ID. All right, back to the Azure portal. Select App Registration in the left menu. Click on the New Registration button towards the top of the screen. Give the registration a name and provide a redirect URL. The redirect URL isn't required, but it is a good idea to provide it so you know the URL of the Octopus Deploy instance this app registration is tied to. Click the Register button to create this application. Now we will have an application ID. Click the Copy button. All right, back to Octopus Deploy to paste that application ID. Now we will need to create a password key to use for this authentication. Click the Certificates and Secrets in the left menu. Click the New Client Secret button. Fill out the modal window and copy in the secret. This is the one and only time you'll see the secret. If you leave this page, you can never see it again. Save the secret in Octopus Deploy. Finally, we will need to associate this app registration with a subscription. Click on the menu icon towards the top left corner of the screen and then select Subscriptions. When the subscription screen appears, you can copy the ID right away. Then paste that back into Octopus Deploy. Click the Access Control button on the screen. Click the Add button in the Add a Role Assignment section on the screen. Now select a role. Typically, Contributor is all that is needed for Octopus Deploy to work with Azure. Start with the least permissions, then dial it in. Next, search for the service principle that was just created. Select it, and then click the Save button. OK, everything has been set up in Azure. Let's finish up a few housekeeping items, and then you can save. You can assign the account to an environment. Selecting the development environment means this account can only be used in the development environment. It can't be used by any other environment. Click the Save and Test button. This will test to make sure all the stars have aligned. A success screen indicates Octopus Deploy can see and connect to your Azure subscription. Congratulations! You have created your first Azure Service Principle and registered it with Octopus Deploy. Here are some tips to keep in mind when creating Azure Service Principles and registering them with Octopus Deploy. Create a unique Azure Service Principle per Azure subscription. Don't reuse the same account for multiple subscriptions. In Octopus Deploy, associate Azure accounts with specific environments. This ensures that account can only be used for those environments rather than all environments. And finally, set up a key rotation scheme and periodically update the key in Octopus Deploy. Unlike variables and deployment processes, Azure accounts are not snapshotted for each release, meaning they can be updated between deployments. Links to additional resources, as well as links to contact support, can be found in the description below. 
Thank you for watching and happy deployments.